I was once shared the most amazing tips by a very famous sushi chef, and I'd like to share them with you. I am respectful to the fact that this isn't my native culture, but this is what I was taught, and I'm going to pass it on to you. If the sushi is covered in seaweed, as a seaweed roll, you should use your fingers, as in pick it up with your hands to eat. The ginger should be eaten on its own. Don't combine it with the sushi, as this is bad manners. Sushi has the most amazing flavours and tastes. It is perhaps one of my most favourite foods. To eat the sushi, you pick up the seaweed roll and dip into the soy on the seaweed side. Don't let the rice touch the soy. You dip it into the soy and then lift it up. Lift the sushi out of the soy sauce and don't shake. That is reserved for the men's room. And then place the sushi in one bite into the mouth. Between each piece of sushi, you should eat some ginger to cleanse the palate. Now you should use the chopsticks. I pick up a single piece of ginger with my chopsticks and eat it. This is single piece sushi, nigiri sushi. As you can see, you have the rice and then an item of seafood on the top of the rice. It's very important when you eat this that you don't allow the rice to touch the soy sauce. So I'm going to turn the sushi onto the left side and then allow the fish to touch into the soy sauce and not the rice. Make a half turn and turn it on its side. Pick up the sushi with the chopsticks and then place the non-rice part into the soy. And then in one bite, place it into your mouth to eat. With some sushi rolls, you may have no choice but to allow a little soy onto the rice, but wherever possible, try to avoid this. Remember, you should eat each piece of sushi in one bite. If the sushi is too big, then bite and then place the remaining sushi back down onto the plate. Did you know that if you eat sushi at the table or at the counter, due to the temperature difference, it will taste differently? This is wasabi. It was traditionally used to make the fish taste better and to fight the bacteria found in the raw fish. Today, wasabi is still used for this reason. Its flavour is designed to bring out the taste of the raw fish, not cover it. Too much wasabi, for instance, may overpower the taste, so use it in moderation. Don't ever mix wasabi in with the soy sauce. Keep it separate. Typically, you don't need to add wasabi, as it will already be there between the rice and the fish. If you wish to add wasabi to your sushi, take your chopsticks, Take a small amount of wasabi and place into the middle of the fish. This is the traditional way. The three types of sushi that you'll typically find are sashimi, nigiri and roll. I'd love to know about your favourite sushi restaurant or the most amazing sushi you've ever eaten. Please tell me below in the comments.